Morning guys, uh, it's a wet windy day here in the UK as you can see, a bit chilly sitting out here in the car but I thought I'd just spend 10 minutes or so just giving a quick review on a little product I've just bought from the States. Um, it's a BAFX uh, Bluetooth adapter for your car so you can run uh, programs like Talk and Talk Pro, OBD Doctor uh, to name but a couple. Um, on your phone um, now the problem that we probably all had at one time or another is we've been to eBay and we bought these cheap OBD um, to Bluetooth adapters for four or five pounds uh, gone back thought, well what a bargain um, plugged them in only to find that they either don't work at all or the, the protocols that they, they run on, um, out of the nine or 10 that you usually get, you, you might find they run on one or two. Um, so they don't work with your programs and, you know, they're just junk. Um, so I bought this, I uh, got this one today. It's from BAFX. I got it all the way from the States um, and it works very well. Um, it, it's a little bit more, I mean, eBay, I mean, you can pick, cheap ones up as I say for four or five pound this one cost me I think it was like twenty five dollars um, and then it was about another twenty dollars to get it shipped over here included ten dollars custom charges and all the rest of it stuff um, but this is I find is, is, is a good product and I'll give you a little, a little bit of a rundown of, of you know what we got here all right so first of um, all it comes in its nice little box um, it's quite well packaged actually when it comes through from the states in its little foam container and stuff so when we open the box oh, we, what do we get in here let's have a, let's have a look we get the the obt2 unit itself um bafs products um it's, it's quite it's quite a nice quite a decent size unit um I mean, externally, it probably looks the same as what most of them do, I suppose. Um, what else have we got in the box here? It comes, it comes with a nice set of instructions. Tells you briefly how to, how to set it all up, how to program your programs in. Pairing code of 1234. Um, gives you a little warning to say that if you're not in the USA it might not work but um, I think we all, we all know that OBD2 is pretty universal uh, blah 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 uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change cameras at some point because uh, I'm going to run this talk program on this phone so I'm going to have to change over to me my webcam, my car webcam, so I don't know what the picture quality is going to be like on there. Um, but uh, anyway, hang on a minute, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's plug this unit in and we'll. There we go, somewhere down here. And I think straight away you can see, you can see the red light coming on there. The lights down the side. Now I think if we, if we turn this on, now. Well then guys, hope you can see this okay. I've had to, as I say, I've had to change over to my webcam. Uh, the engine's running, so you might be able to hear that as well. Uh, the OBD2 adapter is plugged in down there. Um, what I wanted to show you to start with is a little program called the ELM uh, Checker. Uh, ELM uh, 327 adapt um, checker so you can see what protocols it's using um, you've probably seen these on on YouTube before um, we should all be really connected up we, we've already paired the adapter up to the phone so let's just connect up here connect to Bluetooth 
OBD2 and then it'll run through the protocols and you should see them all go green there you go well we get um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six. Six out of seven. Because you should only come down to the line there. So that's not too sad, I don't think. Right, what we'll do now, we'll go straight into the Talk Pro app. Um, this, is the, this is the paid version, not the light version, which is free. Uh, so if we just click on there. It's quite a good little program for uh, just a Android based phone I think. Uh, saves getting the scan tool out a lot of times. Um, if we, if it's, I mean, to start with we can see straight away that all four lights have connected up so we know we're, we're connected to the app. Uh, starting from the top of the phone, look, click on there. We've got um, all live data sort of streaming. Turn over. Uh, we've got there's your like your 0 to 60, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour tests and stuff like that. Horsepower tests, haven't tried them out yet. Uh, here's some live data for you. We've got uh, various, I mean, this is a diesel car, so we're not going to have CO or anything like that. Uh, but we've got coolant, we've got fuel pro, fuel rail pressure. Um, system voltage uh, math readings and map sensor readings a little bit sluggish on the take up they're not as they're not as they're not as responsive as they could be but they all do work fairly well uh, and then you've got rpm and you've got a whole list of different other sensor readings that you can take depending on your car um, but what I like about this mainly is the with the graphing which we'll get to um, in a minute it reads fault codes nicely this has got a couple of uh, EGR valve fault codes in it uh, the EGR valve has been blanked off um, because it was suffering a bit of fear is it sticking open a little bit oh yeah tap here for scan You'll find there, there you go, power plane, exhaust gas EGR. But we know about that, so we won't worry about clearing those. Uh, mapping, it can do data logging for your mapping. Um, and it will it will follow you around, it'll tell you how fast you're going, where you've been, it will log all your, all your journeys, which is quite good. Right, let's get rid of that. Uh, but the, I think the thing that um, is, is, is pretty impressive really is you can do live live graphing, live graphing of all your data. There you go. Come on. In. Oh, apparently, it doesn't do mode six. Oh, that's test results. Here we are. Line graphing. There we go. Look. Uh, line chart. First of all, let's choose some sensors that we want to graph. The ones in green are all highlighted. They're the ones that are available to us. Average speed, distance travelled, engine coolant temperature, engine RPM. No, let's go for fuel rail pressure, intake manifold pressure. There you go, we'll have that one, and we'll also have mass airflow to start with. There you go. Then you push your start button. And straight away you get two line graphics, two lines there. Let's give it a go. 
pretty responsive, I think. So you can see the green line is your mass airflow rate and your red line is your map sensor. Pretty good stuff for diagnostics, I think. You do have another graph in, you have real time charts up there as well. Um, There's a couple I set up earlier. Get rid of that. So we go. Pretty responsive, I think. The little key comes up there. So you can see the blue line is the intake manifold pressure, the green line is the mass airflow rate, you've got the red line, which is the engine RPM, and the fuel well uh, in orange measured in psi. Uh, they're all at a couple of different ranges. So I've had to increase the map and the map airflow by, by 100 to get them up to the same scale as the. Um, engine speed etc otherwise they just flat line along the bottom but it's all pretty customizable I mean that display there you can have that up on your dash um, you know while you're driving along which I think is pretty pretty good well guys I hope you found that interesting I'm I mean I'm quite I haven't done no no data login as yet but um, yeah it's, it's got quite a few features you can you can create your own create your own graphs you can load predetermined graphs I mean normally when I'm out and about on my real time information that's the one I've set up for my diesel as I showed you before I just have that on me on my dash uh, so as I'm driving along I've got uh, map math voltage fuel rail pressure and coolant temperatures to hand which I think is good as I say I will be doing a bit of data logging on the map to see how that goes and you can see if I just down, enlarge the map Got a bit of a squiggly line there to say that I've been been local, but there you go. Alright, then, guys, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to go and uh, I've got things to do on this wet and windy day. Uh, so, catch you later.